as we are all aware, the characteristics of a male entrepreneur is being a visionary, being able to lead people, taking risks, seeing opportunities before anyone else does. Now, did you also know the exact same characteristics apply to female entrepreneurs? The fact that we have different organs does not determine what type of entrepreneur you're going to be. Entrepreneurship is not linked to any PhD, nor your masters. Entrepreneurship is about learning skills. There's something called society paradigm, which basically means men thinking they are better than women. So us women, we have been conditioned by everything around us. Our peers, our communities, our bosses, our leaders, our parents, and our teachers to think that men do have an advantage over women. Today I showed up to share what I believe are three big mistakes that women are making in business. Number one, women don't realize that we have a natural business learning platform. What do I mean by this? Women throughout their life evolution are constantly learning and picking up new skills. And these are the exact skills that we apply in business. Let me give you some examples. When a woman is expecting, you're looking forward to your newborn, you envision that your son or your daughter is going to grow up, is going to be a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher, a politician, you see a vision. You take risks as a mother. You hope that your baby is going to come out healthy and in all the best of conditions. Another example is women, we all have our monthly menses. It's painful. You and I both know that. But we've accepted it. And we go through it every single month with a smile on our face. So, let me tell you what this has taught in business. We have been taught to have a higher level of emotional intelligence. Yes, we have. We have been taught how to deal with people on a daily basis, even when our insides are falling apart. We've been told to plan ahead, because, you know, we have to buy all these things in advance and also mark our calendars. So these are basically the entrepreneurship skills that nature gives to us. So what I'm telling you all is, as you are looking for a school to learn your entrepreneurship skills, look no further than in our homes, than in your homes. That's where it is. The second biggest mistake that women make is that we fall in love. <laughs> and there is nothing wrong with falling in love, so don't misunderstand me. But here's the thing, when you fall in love, you give it your whole being. You give it your all. You forget your identity. And before you know it, you want to go to the mall, you have to consult. You want to do a new course, a new degree, you have to consult. You want to travel, you have to consult. So what happened when you were growing up, when you were able to make decisions by yourself? All of a sudden, you lack the inability of making decisions? What happened? And then we have our colleagues that get married to well-off men, successful well-off men. You spend most of your time beautifying yourselves instead of learning the business. Come on, women. Come on. The third biggest mistake is that women forget that by nature, we have social responsibilities. We are barriers of life and we are wives and mothers. So what does this mean? In our lifespan, we have disruptions. And just like our menses, we have accepted it. But here's the thing, we need to accept and find a solution to deal with these disruptions in our lives. So we go through 
pregnancy, it's a year and a half that your life is disturbed. So let me give you an exa another example. You have you and your male colleague. You both start employment. And you're both planning families after a couple of years. But the, your male colleague, he's not the one that's going on maternity. It's his wife. So he's there. He, he already has an advantage. And you, one and a half years, nine months pregnant, three months, you are nursing a new baby. And after that, you are encountered with this whole new, different lifestyle. Now, something in your life will take the back row. And that's mostly, for us women, it's our careers. When you get back to work, a couple of years, your male colleague has been promoted, and you haven't. And who are you blaming? So what I'm telling you is that we intentionally need to grow. We need to accelerate our own growth so we can catch up. There is no excuse why we cannot implement the same thing in our work, in our business, in our jobs, as we implement in our monthly menses. So I would like to share my experiences. I've made those three mistakes. I would like to share two experiences with you. One, as a child, and two, in my business. So at 19 years old, I was in love. I met this boy, he was everything to me. And nothing else mattered. I had a baby, and after a while, my partner traveled to look for better opportunities for his family. And soon after he settled in foreign land, I was replaced. We were replaced. It took me five years to realize I needed to show up. It took me five years to realize that I didn't need his permission to start a business, to get a job, and to move on. So in those five years, I could have had another degree, but I didn't. Why? Because I was so engrossed in my own self, taking care of my child, trying to be a mother, trying to learn new skills, the same skills that later on in life, I realized that I was applying in my business. So after some years, I still didn't have, I didn't have everything figured out. I started being a hustler, two failed businesses, and then I got a job. I left work, started another business. And it took me a couple of years to realize that failures are a part of business. And the sooner you fail, the sooner you learn. And the sooner you pick yourself up and you dust yourself and you move on. So seven years in business, we were the envy of many. We were in all the top projects that you could think of. And my business was taking a new form. So we identified someone that we thought was going to carry our vision. We met a man. His name was Frank. Frank had an amazing CV, impeccable references. When we looked at Frank, we knew that Frank was going to take us with After a couple of months, the culture of the business had changed so drastically, we didn't recognize it was our business. So we had no choice but to show up. We showed up to take ownership. Although we wanted to be on the beach somewhere, relaxing, doing our nails, having fun, we had to show up. We had to take back ownership of our business and continue with it. So what I'm telling you today, ladies, is that every single one of you has everything it takes to be successful. You have everything it takes to run a business. All I want you to do is look back at your history. Look back at you as a little girl. You had dreams, you had hopes, you had a vision. Look, at back, look back at that girl and see where she is. I would like to leave you with these last thoughts. Your business is only going to grow at the same level as the owner. So I encourage you to constantly make it intentional to grow. And women, as you spend 
a lot of time beautifying yourself on the outside. I would like to encourage you as well to spend the same amount of time you beautify yourself on the outside to beautify yourself on the inside because you are just as beautiful. And as we try and solve this male chauvinistic problem, let's try and solve our problems first so that when we ask for the opportunities that we are ready for them. And lastly, no matter what happens in your life, I would like you to think of this. I would like you to show up. When you feel like giving up, I want you to show up. When you feel like no one else believes in you, I want you to show up. When you feel like you've got no money and you can't invest, I want you to show up. When you feel like the world is against you, I want you to show up. And when you feel like your community, your husband, your family, your partners are not there for you, I want you to show up. No matter what happens, what your journey is, where you are, remember this, show up. Thank you.